Sweetie, things are fading. Oh, things are really fading. Uh, yeah, Misha and Chan, welcome to Hermit Home Desire, you can call me... Okay, I kind of just said your name. I remember what was in need of a complete makeup work, can you help me design it? Yes. Yes, I can. But first, can I tell you a bit of a uh, secret? I may not look like it, but I'm actually a... Hikomori? Hee <laughs> hee? What does that mean? It's a hermit who shuts himself off in the world to live in isolation. I kind of grew up like that. I prefer solitude in my Game Boy, stuff like that, so. There are a lot of negative misconceptions about uh, Ikamori's being dirty slobs living in messy rooms, but that's just not true. Just because I'm that doesn't mean I can't have a good looking room. In fact, I had even more reason to make my room look great. It's my whole world after all. I want my room to be like a one-stop hurry paradise with lots of entertainment and cute plushies and instant ramen. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> okay. Let's get designing. This is the front door, right? Uh... Box. where I spend most of my life. Dang. Okay, kind of in the middle, I guess. Dresser. I suck at this. I guess. I don't know. Table. Cushion. I mean, I don't know if you would have guests, but... Oh, this is... I have to get a table, I got to get a desk. Bookshelf? Uh... Can I rotate? What a pillow without anime girls on it. Okay. Uh... Regular carpet. Um, sure. There ain't no other option to rotate it. It will look good. It's like, I don't know. The couch. Ah. I don't know. Oh, a normal body pillow. Um, sure. So the bed. Okay, wow, our room looks so amazing now. Yeah. Can't wait to
I don't know, someone's at the door? What do I do? Answer it? I guess? Um, so... That was scary, I almost had to have a social interaction. Who knows what could have happened. You may think it's weird for me to hide in here, but I think a... Yeah. Because my social anxiety makes it hard to really talk to people. Um, I mean, I guess that's understandable. Sometimes it can be a real problem, but that's okay. We can just design here in the closet, right? This place is cool, right? Yeah. Maybe I should just live in here from now on. The closet. He said, don't what? No, Bob, hello, don't flip it over though. Okay. There you go. Is the room so cozy? That was getting a little bit hard to breathe. You think the person at the door is gone? I'll go check. They're gone. That was a close one. Turns out it was just a post I leave in the mail. Where will leave? And a letter from my parents. Let's see what it says. Okay. My parents said I spent too much money on furniture. They're cutting my allowance and aren't going to pay my rent anymore. So I leave my apartment, but that, that's not a big deal. In fact, uh, this would be good for me. Now I have to learn how to exist like a normal person out in the real world. I had somebody saved up and I bought an amazing used trailer for me to live in. Now he will try to talk to me. I can't drive away from them without having to leave to comfort them at home. This new home may be small, but also means it's cute. How about we name it Trailer Tan? Okay. So was they cut your spending whatever because of me or... I don't know. Where's your bed? I can't even care now that's all decorated. Living here is going to be so much. So much door, you know what that means. She actually meant driving away. That's wild. Wow, people sure are scary. I think I might have gotten a bit carried away with my escape. I kept driving away until I ended up in the mountains with no gas. But you know what? Running out of gas was a happy accident because I found this. A brand new home. The mountain cave is an ideal home for... I'll be frozen to society. I'll never have to worry about socializing with people ever again. <laughs> Plus the cave is spacious, which means more room to a design. And over here, I'll just be like a Zen monk or like a Buddha. I'll have to talk to anyone or worry about my social anxiety. It'll be so much fun. Girl, what?
Oh, she is serious. Girl, this is not okay. Oh, she's dead serious. You are wild. I mean, what more can I do? This sounds really great, but you know what I've been thinking? Worth this cave and all, there's still a chance people will come here and try to socialize with me, and that's the risk I should not have to take. Just thinking about that possibly makes me anxious. There must be a better way to live. I could take things even further, I can leave society completely and never have to socialize at all. Then it'll become one true... I have an idea. Those girls take that too far. The Arctic? That's part of it. If someone tries to approach me, I'll see them from miles away and have plenty of time to escape. Still not sure what to do about this weather though. But you know, having a bit of chill would work it. Not to worry about social anxiety. Little iceberg is cute, perfect for designing. So a polar bear comes and yeah. This girl's doing too much. Entirely too much. This is not really great, but you know I've been thinking. It's really cold. Is it worth it, right? I don't know. It's up to you if you think it's worth it. There is a better way to live. Oh no, to fix this, my time alone in the mountains helped me look inward by my true self. I realized that if I just meditate and look within myself, I can overcome my physical body and not feel cold at all. If I could do that, living here would be perfect. Let's try it. I finally figured out how the suit truly solved all my problems. The solution was not just to leave society, but to leave the physical world as well. From now on, I'll live completely inside my mind and never have to worry about the real world ever again. I finally cured my social anxiety. On top of that, we have infinite space to design. How fun. Sweet, so I just make sense you're, you're deceased. I don't...
two things are fading. Oh, things are really fading. There's no point in me doing all this. This is great because it's out here, here forever. You know, I try so hard to pass to be like a normal person, but there was nothing that I could do to make it work. My anxieties and abnormalities forced me into a state of isolation when I come to realize that that's okay. I realized that this is the only way to live for someone like me. Sure, I might get lonely from time to time, but I know that it's really worth it. I finally came out of anxiety and can live comfortably like a newer person here inside the void beyond the physical world. Thank you for being so understanding and helping me design such great homes. It's a shame of them. Most of them didn't work out better, but I'm fairly certain I can live at peace here for a long time. Feel free to come and visit anytime. with this I think we said that that doesn't mean she passed away in a void you can't design I feel really sorry for her she deserved better like I got a little bit of that stuff but it's like you can't just off yourself just because you're a little anxious or crazy anxious but uh it made me so sad, especially when things started fading away. That's how I knew. I just knew she's done. But yeah, this is a uh, Herbert home designer. It made me a little sad. He deserved better. He really did that. Didn't she? Don't let your social anxiety take over. Please, you all deserve better. <laughs> <laughs>